Hello, this is Stacy. I want to show you how to create questions for your active votes in Active Inspire. So as I'm opening up Active Inspire, I'm just going to start with a blank flip chart here. And I've I went ahead and clicked on my select tool just so I don't accidentally write on my page. And to create a question, you can go up here to insert. And then the second thing is questions. And it brings up this new menu here. Um, and then you can type here to add your question. So I'll highlight and I'll say, um, how many verbs are in this sentence? Joe rides his bike. And you know you can select your question type. You can do multiple choice, yes, no. Um, it also has sort in order, numeric, text, and equation. For the active votes, you can only use these first two. You cannot do sort in order or Likert scale, or numeric, text, or equation. So make sure that you choose one of these two. So I'm going to call this multiple choice. And then you'll notice over here on the right is where I have my options. So let me click back on my question here. Excuse me. Um, so I've got my options A, B, C, or D. I usually always leave the letters because the active votes only have letters on them, so it doesn't make sense to use numbers. And I can have as many options as I want. You'll notice that the little X button is here, so I don't really want six options. I'm going to keep this a little bit simple, and I'm just going to have three options. And my first option is going to be one. And then I, now I'm changing the second one to you can click in the box and use your delete key or you can highlight to change the answer. So I've got one, two, and three. And then you'll also notice that there is a box right here where you can check whether it's the answer is correct or not. So I'm going to say that one is the correct answer because that is. And if I go on the side here and I scroll down some more, we're going to always leave this at 1. And as soon as I check an ass assigned answer, this, this box gets checked for you. You can set a time limit, which is um, which can be good. Uh, you can also do that while the question's running. So it depends on you. Um, you cannot include a follow-on question for active votes, so, so don't ever worry about that part. And then down here, I'm going to check this because I want it to replace the page content with a new design. And then I've got several options here. Um, but I like the one where it has the question at the top of the page, and then it has A, B, and C. And it's probably too small for you to see, but right here it actually says, one, two, and three. So I'm going to keep scrolling down and then I've got A, B, and C. So I'm going to click apply and then done. And voila, I have a question on my page. It's a pretty easy process. I can start my voting here by hitting the play button and have the kids vote on it right away. So hope this video was helpful and enjoy making questions in Active Inspire.